The Kia says $12,000 worth of jewelry was stolen from her a few days ago. Oh! And she believes the thief is her own sister, Kiara. Oh! Just hurt that me and my sister is going through this right now. This is my only sister. Just... I can't do this. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> my sister back around. I don't like the distance. My sister that had my back through everything. That's the only person I can call on, talk to about anything. And for her to accuse me of stealing $12,000 worth of jewelry from her, it's hurting me because I have no reason to take anything from her. And I just want her to know it was not me. The kid house got broken into Wednesday night. Um, she called me, I went down there with her, sat there with her until the police came. I told her I was leaving and I was taking her daughter with me. I went home to my mom's house, went straight to sleep. Never once knew my sister was at my mom's house till that morning. I got a phone call from my mom saying, have I had my, see my sister? Or did I have her diamond ring or necklace? I responded, no. So I called my sister, Takia, asked like, what are you talking about? What do I have of yours? She like, you don't, your mom was the only one there. I said, Kia, I don't have your necklace or your ring. I promise you I don't. I have never been accused of stealing. Almost fought my sister over this, and I don't want it like that. I don't. My sister, Takia, has been there by my side since I found out I was pregnant with my daughter. Literally, from day one, she did my baby shower. She was there for the birth. And for our connection to break over this, it's horrible. She's not just a sister to me. She's a role model of my second mother. She's basically helped me raise my daughter. I had no reason to take from her. Nothing. I could call her for anything. And for her to go around telling people I took from her, it's hurting me because people's always saying something to me about it. Why you got your sister's stuff? I don't have my sister's stuff at all. And I just want her to see that I don't have it. And I just hate to see us like this. I don't care what these results come back as if I lied or told the truth. I just want my sister back. That's it. That's all I want. Uh, the kid, that's uh, your sister who you believe stole your jewelry. Mm -hmm. She seems pretty emotional. She is. She look emotional, but I feel like at the end of the day, you and my mama was the only one in the house, so I'm not going to accuse my mama. She said she didn't go upstairs. You were the only one upstairs. Now, she says the two of you are, before this incident, were very close. Yeah, we close. We got our days when we argue, bicker back and forth. We got our days. We real close. I love her. Right. That's my only sister. My only sister. I do whatever. So she do that. you really believe that she would steal from you? Yeah. Yes, I do. I do. I really do, because... It's money behind it. Wednesday, my house got broken too. I showed all my appraisals. You know what I'm saying? So me showing my appraisals, she see how much my jewelry was worth, $12,000. So in the back of her head is... So they broke in your house, they didn't take the jewelry? No, they took jewelry. It was just one that. I had those two pieces on. Oh, Yeah, they took okay. jewelry that day, so then, Wednesday. So after they did the burglary, you went and stayed with your mom? That night, I stayed with my parents because, at my parents' house because I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable. Oh, and I didn't course. want me you or my daughter in the house. Yeah. And I was telling them they would have came back or anything, you know? Right. So, and you had what exactly? You had a, a necklace and what else? A ring? That my sister stole? Yeah. yeah. That, well, yeah. allegedly, right? <laughs> that she stole, yeah. Man, you're pretty confident that she stole this, huh? <laughs> I mean, because it was, I, I cannot blame my mom. And it was only my mom and sister. My sister the room that my sister was in was upstairs. There's no reason for my parent, my mom or dad to go upstairs at all. Period. Then they don't, don't go upstairs. No, they don't. Only the so, my and where did you leave your necklace and your ring? In my bed, with my money and my paper from school. It was right there, and right on the side of my pillow. And right so you there. think your sister just came in there and said... I left, and she's the only one upstairs, you know what I'm saying? She's the only one upstairs. I she left. She was still before? <laughs> yeah, she has. She's stolen before. She said she's never been accused of stealing. She probably ain't been accused, but she stole before. I didn't know she stole. I know that, because I know that. She done stole a couple times. She done what stole did she money. Steal? Money, she done stole from... From who? 
friends, family, whomever. She done stole. <laughs> so you told the police your sister stole it? I sure did. I walked in there and I was like, my sister stole my um, necklaces. And what did the police this, say? Um, your sister? They were just shocked. Like, your sister? I'm like, yeah, because I took my jewelry off. I, I did it. I took my jewelry off and put my ring on my necklace. That's how. So it was right. like two pieces on it. And then I put it in my square pocket because I had just got kicked out of school. So I put my um, jewelry. You got kicked out of school? <laughs> What'd you get kicked out of school for? <laughs> I said the BS word. You said the what word? BS. <laughs> yeah. I did, that's what I said. You got kicked out of school for saying that? Heck yeah. I was so pissed. Are you going to be a nun or something? Um, no, I'm going to actually. <laughs> I'm going for uh, CNA, EKG, PCT, and phlebotomy. A nurse? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I could have just said that. Have you... <laughs> Now, your sister says that you and her almost came to blows over this. Yes, let me tell you, Friday, I'm petty. I got to get my point across. I'm going to accuse you. Hi, bro. I'm going to get it. You know, I'm just going to see. So I went in the house. I came in um, Friday night talking to my mama. She was at the table doing her homework. And I was talking to my mama. So my, my sister has a daughter who I love so much. I love her. So she's so adorable. And... I'm talking to her, you know, playing with her, this and the third. And we started talking about the situation that happened on Wednesday. And I said, yeah, ain't that some The next day, my sister gonna steal $12,000 worth of jewelry. You know, like, I was hurt. Who are you saying this to? To my mom. Oh. I knew my sister was upstairs. I did oh, okay. it So you're, so, you're golden there. Yeah. But now with there, yeah. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. But she was, she was there as in, she not paying attention. You know, yeah. she... Okay, wrong. okay, okay. But still, what I'm What if you're wrong to... and your sister passes the lie detector test? Oh, God, I'm a... Oh, Kiara. Let's go to... Let's go to Miami. <laughs> so you gonna accuse me out of all people of stealing from you? Who else was in the house? I come to you for Who everything. Who else was in the house? Everything. What Who else was in the house? 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 Do you have any idea what you think happened to the jury? I don't even think she brought it to my mama's house, to be truthful. Because you said three different stories the other night with me. My mom was talking to you and I came downstairs. First it was in your scrub pocket. It was in the middle of the bed. And then above your head, which one is? Did you leave it or not? You know how Did I you leave it or not? There's a voicemail from your mother. Let's uh, play that right now. Hi, Steve. This is Sherry. I'm Kia's and Kiara's mom. This situation is really, really tearing me apart. To see my daughters going at each other over something that can be replaced, but their relationship with one another can never be mended again. It's like putting me in between the both of them. I don't want to feel like I have to choose one over the other because I love both my daughters unconditionally. Nothing materialistic can replace the love that I have for them. Hopefully after the results of this, their relationship can be mended and we can be the one happy family that we've always been. Thank you so much, Steve, for having my daughters on your show. Um, and it's got to be tough for your mom to be put in the middle like that. You came here and you took a lie detector test concerning whether you stole your sister's jewelry. Mm -hmm. We asked you, did you, did you take any of Takiya's missing jewelry? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. My point, I told you, ain't no This is funny, right? Please. You can leave. <laughs> How you made everybody in that audience feel like I was just out here stealing from this person, that person, that person, every person I see. Oh, well, I'm gonna take this off you and going about my business. How everybody looking at me? That is embarrassing. I have no reason to steal from you. I love you to death. And I love you, you like my second life. mama. You know I love you, Kier. I love the hell out of you. You my only sister. Well, Kier. I, I proved myself. I didn't take your jury. I ain't have nobody there at all. I know my mama wouldn't take from you. I love my sister. I ain't gonna let nothing materialistic come between us. Like, I love you to death, and I'm sorry that I had to even come this far with you or even allow myself to feel like you did some stuff. But I felt it in my heart, like, couldn't, it couldn't be nowhere else but where I left it at. So I'm sorry, and I do apologize yeah, sincerely from the bottom of my heart. I really do. I love you.